Wave them at them bitches hating on you with their friends, girl, you got it. So let me tell you what just happened with my son, my eight-year-old son. And um, excuse me, I'm sharing the story with his permission. And um, how it was just an incredible moment. It showed a bit of a breakthrough. It also showed some healing and some growth. Um, and it really helped me as well. Like unintentionally, it helped me to just kind of heal some past trauma of uh, being a child who, or an adult who was a child uh, raised by a narcissistic parent. So um, my son has medication. He has more than one, and I was getting ready to give him one that he takes during the day. And um, I had already, you know, he gave me his applesauce. He didn't see me open the bottle, and he likes to have, you know, his pill with applesauce. A lot of kids do, of course. And um, so he didn't see me put it in. He's in, he's on his game. And um, a couple minutes later, I got everything, and I brought, I brought the spoon to him with the applesauce. And he was like, what's this? And I was like, get your medicine. And he was like, huh? Like, how'd you forget that fast? But here, take your medicine. So he looks at it, and he's like, I don't see the pill. And I was like, I already put it in there. And he was like, okay, well, which one is it? And I was like... I'm thinking like my first reaction uh still you know this it's been it's been decades and decades of me learning and being kind of one way so take it easy on the kid you know I'm I'm growing but when those first reactions come up I do stop myself I let I let it pass and I process it cuz my first reaction was what how you going I'm your mama how you going how you going to challenge me on this so um I stopped for a second. I looked at him and I kind of smiled because I was kind of impressed too. And I was like, well, it's this medication. So he looks at it and then he goes and he grabs the other bottle and he sees the other bottles in another place. So he wants to look at it and then look at the pill before he takes it. So we, did, we didn't really have any back and forth. I'm looking at him. And the cool thing is I'm looking at this little boy and I said to him, but I my first thought was not that I wanted to do something that was toxic or narcissistic it's just it's so familiar the whole uh, a very unhealthy exchange that would have been had I been in his shoes was so familiar to me so I still felt that that doesn't mean that I wanted to do it and I didn't so um, I feel proud of myself not you know still being able to after practicing this for for a couple of years resist what has been so um normal to me for for so long that I that it's not anymore even though I may it may still be familiar so if the roles were reversed and if I was the child and I were with my parent and that happened I would have gotten in trouble I would have been told who do you think you are um just for having just for practicing being an individual with my own personal sense of agency I was not allowed to have my own personhood I was not allowed to um do anything that would seem like my parents are beyond reproach. And that is unhealthy. That teaches children that you should not have boundaries. You should not look out for yourself. And that sets you up for a lot of the abuse that I went through for decades. So I'm looking at my son and um, after the initial kind of, you know, weird feeling passed. And I said to him, I am so proud of you, son. And he's like, for what? Like it's normal to him. And I said, what you did was amazing. And I want you to do that all the time. You checked and you wanted to make sure you were sure of the medication that you were putting in your body you wanted to make sure that it was the right one you read the label you looked at the pill you know that you have more than one medication to take and at different times and I said what you just did right there son and you questioning me that was amazing I'm so proud of you I said when you're at school when you're um, on the soccer field or other places I want you to if anytime you don't feel confident and you're not certain I want you to keep doing that same exact thing because this is your body it is your health and you know, you are allowed to be in charge of your body and your health and your medication and everything else. And I just, and he's kind of looking at me like, mom, like what's the big deal? So it's probably more of a big deal for me than for him. But it's so important that they understand that I support them asking questions that just because I'm your mom doesn't mean I own you. That, um, I'm not beyond reproach. I'm not beyond making mistakes, especially if you're busy and you got a bunch of things going on and you got a bunch of kids. I could have made a mistake and given him the wrong medication. And I want them to know that they are safe with me and that I support them and what's best for them and that I will never put my ego above what is best for them 
and their health and everything else. And so I just wanted to pass this along because I know that there's a lot of you, mostly uh, girls who um, follow me and we connect on a regular basis about just what it looks like and what it feels like in these moments that we get to celebrate when it comes to overcoming and healing from narcissistic abuse, especially from childhood abuse and trauma. Um, and, uh, and then things that we deal with with, with other parents who don't co-parent with us, but counter-parent who are still just toxic like that. And, um, you know, thankfully, I've been able to keep my children protected from being around another parent who would treat them like this. And I'm hoping and praying and with your support, I'll be able to continue to do that. So you can check my GoFundMe and the link in the bio for more about that. Um, but just passing on, you know, a really, really important when these moments are something to celebrate because unfortunately, um, being healthy and functional, that's not normal to every family. And if you've come out of a family system that is not healthy, that is not functional, that does not encourage children to, um, to practice independence and to practice like self-care and self-love, um, then these moments are everything. So uh, pass it along to somebody who needs to see it, maybe a parent who um, may be willing to um, look at this and consider um, evolving or expanding to being like this and uh, make it a beautiful day. Bye-bye.